page 659, and we're going to do section review number five. Page 669, section review number five. Again, this is not a practice problem, it's section review. I'm going to give you about a three minute head start. So if you can get started on your own, and then we will solve it together. I want to make sure we have enough time, so we're going to start now. We're looking for the electric, the change in electric potential energy for this charge moving from one location to another in a constant electric field. We know the value of the electric field, we know the value of the charge, and we know the location, position locations here. Uh, Mr. Lowe, what equation would you use for the change in electric potential energy? Uh, the electric potential that has equals or delta V. Okay, delta V equals negative E times D. Why would we use that? Because it's a constant electric field. I agree. If we were trying to figure out the electric potential difference, we would use this equation. Uh, but that's not what they asked for in the question. What did they ask for in the question? So notice, and this is a, a common mistake, right? Because we have these two terms which are very similar. They've asked for the change in electric potential energy, not the electric potential difference. So if they were asking for the electric potential difference, we could certainly find, use that. That's not what they've asked for. They've asked for the change in electric potential energy. Therefore, Duval, what are we going to use? Um, negative QE delta V. Notice the similarity between the two equations, right? One has a charge and one does not. So if we were trying to figure out the electric potential difference, it would just be almost the same equation. So the electric potential difference then is going to be equal to negative Q E delta D. What are all of these numbers? Please, Kraus. Uh, Q is, uh, if you convert it to coulombs, so um, it's one coulomb over um, one times to the six microcoulombs. Microcoulombs cancel out, we get 12 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. So 12 times 10 to the negative 6 multiplied by the electric field. Uh, 250. Times the displacement. Um, you have to find the length or the displacement. <laughs> Using a squared, or sorry, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Who can explain why you do not have to do that? One of the reasons I'm doing this problem. Low. Because it's only, it only matters the change in uh, part of the displacement in a parallel direction. Remember, the only displacement that matters is the displacement parallel to the electric field. So it's actually just 0.2 meters, right? So please, it's like asking the question, What's the change in the gravitational potential energy if I take this object and I take it from here all the way to here, right? Did any of that lateral motion matter? No, it's only the vertical motion that matters in terms of gravitational potential energy. In terms of electric potential energy, it's only the motion parallel to the electric field that matters. So the electric potential energy then is equal to? 6.0 times 10 to the negative 4. And I believe it works out to be negative. And that's in yeah. joules. 